Hi, I'm Lara, and this is Alyssa, and we're here to tell you all about the math of online dating. We were curious as to how you take something as mysterious as human attraction and put it into terms a computer can understand. Here's what we found. The first thing we need is something for the computer to work with, data. So we asked for some. To find the most compatible match, we needed to find three different pieces of data. Your answer to the question, how you'd like a potential match to answer, and how relevant the question is to you. Here are some of the questions we asked. Do you like being the centre of attention? How organised are you? And would you like your partner to be employed? Here's what our candidates said. Molly's answer to, do you like being the centre of attention, was yes. She liked her potential match to answer no, and the question was only a little important to her. She also told us that she was very organised and would like her potential partner to be employed. And Kate told us she was averagely organised, she'd like her partner to answer very organised, and this question was somewhat important to her. She also dislikes being the centre of attention and would like her partner to be employed. Molly and Kate's match percentage is calculated through questions they've both answered. We're going to call the set of common questions N. Since it's computer calculating their match percentage, we need to assign numerical values to the relevance of the question. It was decided that relevant was worth zero, a little important was worth one, somewhat important was worth 10, very important was worth 50, and mandatory was worth 250. Next, the computer makes two simple calculations. Let's go back to our example. The first calculation the computer makes is how much did Kate's answer satisfy Molly? Well, let's see. Molly told us that the first question, do you like being the centre of attention, was a little important to her and it was worth one point. She also indicated that she wanted her potential match to answer no, and Kate got that right. The second question was worth 10 points, and Kate also got that right. The final question was also worth 10 points, and Kate got that right too. That means that Kate scored 21 out of a possible 21 points. This equates to a percentage of 100%. The next calculation the computer makes is how much did Molly's answers satisfy Kate? Kate said that the first question was worth 10 points, the second was also worth 10 points, and the third, 50 points. Out of the possible 70 points, Molly scored a 60. This gives us a match percentage of 86. Now the computer has to find one match percentage for both of our candidates. To do this, the computer takes the geometrical mean of the two scores. First, it multiplies the two numbers together and then finds the nth root of the answer. In this case, the value of n is the number of common questions. If you recall earlier, n equaled 3. Thus, to find our match percentage, we need to find the cubed root of 100 times 86. Therefore, we get a match percentage of 94%. That sounds like a pretty good match to me. Hey! Because plagiarizing is bad, we'd like to give credit to those who inspired the idea behind this video. Firstly, we'd like to thank Christian Rudder and his video Inside OK Cupid, The Maths of Online Dating from the website TED-Ed. We'd also like to recognise the website Math is Fun for teaching us all there is to know about the geometric mean. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed this video. Bye! Bye.